Today, we're gonna go over questions that were really interesting but didn't really fall in any particular category. So we created a miscellaneous category. The first question is, how do you know if what you think your purpose is came from God or your soulish desires? I thought that that was really interesting. And I love the scripture that says, um, delight in the Lord, feast on his faithfulness, and he'll give you the desires of his heart. One of the things that you want to think about when you're thinking about purpose and your calling is how does it line up with scripture? How does it line up with the nature of God? A lot of times people freeze up because they feel like they're calling. They have to know exactly what it is and how to do it. But the Lord leads us to green pastures. He is not a tyrant or this master that is up there waiting for you to mess up so he can beat you over the head. And so a lot of times when we learn how to delight, that means get to know God spend time in his presence, get to know his character, what happens is we begin to know his will automatically. So the will of God is not always a lion coming down with fire telling you this is what the Lord says, but it is comes out of you spending time. And so our soul is our will, our emotions, and our intellect. But when you have submitted your soul and your will and your emotions and intellect to the Lord, then the will of God can become part of your will and part of your soul so I'm part of your emotions. So if God doesn't clearly tell me in a dream that I'm supposed to move to India and help with an orphanage, but I know that it's going to help the kingdom of God. It's going to be a blessing to other people. I'm going to move forward with that. And I believe that as you're moving forward, if you have grown in all this stuff that we have talked about this week, hearing his voice and knowing who you are in him, if it's not God, you have a red light. You guys know I love Graham Cook. And he always says that you always have a green light with God. God until you don't. So the will of God is not always just one way, but it's about knowing his nature, knowing his heart. And if you're following that, even if you don't have a clear directive, then as you go, you will have peace, you will have joy, and you have righteousness. And that's when you know how to discern things that are coming from your own heart or from the heart of God. Anything that comes from our own ideas brings frustration, brings contention, uh, brings heaviness. Yes, there is some warfare with some God things, but there is a joy in fighting those battles. The next question uh, that came in was, is my purpose connected to my spouse? So the person said, you know, I already know part of my calling, but I feel like the rest of my calling is connected to my spouse. You know, what happens if I don't get married? Does that mean I don't fulfill the full calling of my life? And this is what I tell people all the time, especially singles. You need to run full steam ahead in what you know. And I feel like the Lord is not going to ask of you something that you cannot fulfill with his help. He is going to ask of you things you cannot fulfill out of your own strength, but he is going to require you to trust him. And so it doesn't matter whether your spouse is there or not. You need to figure out what am I supposed to be doing right now? And you need to be running full steam ahead with that right now moment. And if your spouse comes or when they come, what they should do is they should augment your purpose. And that's why one of the things that we do in marital coaching is always ask the couples, why have you been put in this person's life? What is it that you bring to help fulfill their purpose and vice versa? If you don't know what you bring to the table and they don't, you guys are going to be in a bunch of confusion. So it's better to get started and walking out what God has called you to do. And the last question that we got, um, that was also very interesting is, what are some issues that happen if you don't know your identity um, and your purpose? What issues arise in relationships? What issues happen um, arise in ministry? I think one of the biggest things that I have seen is that people um, constantly look for validation. So if you don't know that God loves you and God is for you, you go into ministry to get validation. You go into ministry so people can cheer you on. You go into ministry so people can say how great you are. Or you enter into relationships, whether it's at church or with your friends, and you look to them to help define you. And that's why a lot of people end up in toxic relationships. They end up being codependent 
because alone they don't see their value or don't feel it. They feel like they are everything they're supposed to be only when they're connected to someone or something. You have to be able to stand on your own two feet and know that if I uh, never go into a relationship, I'm never in ministry, I am fully aware of who I am, what I carry, and the fact that God loves me. Now, the last question is what happens when someone refuses to fulfill his or her purpose? Do you believe that the father just transfers it to someone else? Well, it's not that easy. Uh, identity and purpose is not just about something that's on you and then God can take it off and throw it to someone else, right? But there are people that are waiting on you for you to fulfill the call of God on your life. And so if you don't do what you're called to do and fill that void, that doesn't mean those people are going to just languish and perish. They may for a little while, but God will raise up another deliverer to stand in the gap and begin to minister to those people that needed it. And so it's not like he's taking the mantle off of you and transferring it to someone else. What he's doing is just filling the gap with someone else's unique history, unique temperament, but all they have done is said yes, where you said no. All right. I look forward to wrapping everything up in the next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.